I have a 10-year-old. She is a darling boy, very kind, very compassionate, like a real human being. But he struggles academically, and, and that's hard for me. And it's hard be, for many reasons, because he's my son. I don't want him struggling. I personally did not struggle academically, so I'm like, why, why are you struggling? You're my kid. That you, you can do this. You get something from me, don't you? And this is what I'm thinking. Obviously, I'm not saying this. But sometimes it's hard to not get discouraged. And, and sometimes I think, oh my gosh, if I can get him through high school, I'll be all right. He's only 10. But I, I, it's, sometimes I think, oh, I'll never make it to college. Not this way, not struggling so much. So it really encouraged my heart to hear you say, you know, like, don't rush to judgment. He can do great things. I just need to keep my vision open. And so I thank you for that. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I, you know, I, I just, well, I think well worth saying, especially because, again, as parents, we're not, we're not always, uh, at least my parents weren't in a rush to make my life, uh, my parents <coughs> weren't in a rush to push me out of the house, mm -hmm. you know? And I think that one has to remember, especially with young people, if it wasn't for what I call the Obama model, yeah, which the Obama model is that you get into one college and then you transfer to another better one, and then you transfer to another better one, and then you keep on transferring up. Yeah, Obama did that. Obama famously did that. You think that fool started at Harvard? <laughs> you love him, man. Yeah. And I think that this is something that's very, very important. Because a lot of our young people, when they begin to excel is when they get into a college-style program. And I know that I screwed my high school up. My GPA in high school was under like, it was like under a one second. They were really like, get out. Yeah? But when I went to college, I just began to ring bells. I was like, college is a different world. I went from like a one seven to my little community college, where I was like, First semester out, I was like a 4.0, because college is so different. And I think it's very important that you always encourage your kid to think of college, no matter where they end up, as temporary. Because I, somebody hadn't kept pushing me to say, keep going. You got into this school, next year try again, see if you can get something better. I certainly, listen, the difference between being in a community college and being in a state school, no matter what people will tell you, is an enormous amount of difference. I started at a community college, pushed on up to a big state school, pushed on up to Cornell, and if no one had pushed me, I wouldn't have been able to look at all these different levels. You know, entonces lo que estoy diciendo a la gente es que, especialmente con los muchachos, es que muchos de los carajitos, verdad, que le está yendo muy mal en la escuela, muchos de esos muchachos, Si le dan la oportunidad de estudiar a nivel de como a una universidad, a muchos de esos muchachos le van mejor. ¿Verdad? Los muchachos que se queman en high school son los muchachos que son genios en la universidad. Y a veces uno tiene que dar esa oportunidad. Y cuando un muchacho llega a una escuela, yo siempre digo que le tiene que impulsar a ese muchacho, no pensar esa escuela como que ya, yo llegué y me voy a quedar aquí. Porque el mundo es grande, man, y hay muchísimas oportunidades. Entonces, yo no estaba diciendo que el estilo, la estrategia de Obama fue que Obama entró a una universidad y después el próximo año, ¿verdad? Trató de buscar una mejor y después el próximo año otra mejor y otra y otra. Y así es como una escalera. And certainly that was one of the things that helped me an enormous amount. Especially the young kids here who are going to think about going to college. Guys, man, I always say, the first application to college is what someone says to you. Your second application is how you fight back. Yeah? I, first year I applied to Rutgers, I was rejected. And I went to a community college. And then I said, I'm going to apply again. Most of us, we take a rejection from college as like a permanent thing. Little people who are all going to go to college, you are going to college, I'll see you at Princeton. Yeah. <laughs> You've got to apply at least, I always tell you, if you don't apply at least twice, it's a, it's a wrap. Got to apply at least twice. Keep pushing. If you get into one place, next year apply the next place.